Aloha! Welcome to part 10 of Mega Man X6. I hate this game. By defeating Blizzard Wolfang, you get Ice Burst. It lets you shoot a ice chunk onto the ground, and you can climb it to reach higher ledges. Is it useful ever? No. Not really. But oh well, there it is. And Zero gets the ability to instantaneously jump up high into the sky, and if he hits a ceiling, he'll actually stick to it. Uh, I think for either a short period of time or forever, I'm not sure, but uh, Zero can jump up to ceilings and stick to them. It's gonna be Both of these abilities are going to be super useful for Gate Slab number one, which is the most stupidly designed level in a long time. Well done, Maverick Hunter X. You defeated my star creations. Who are you? I'm Gate, the new leader of Reploids. I aim for an ideal nation of Reploids only. I'm eliminating low Reploids for that. <laughs> you! Do you realize what you're doing? The Earth can't be fixed without Reploids! I know, so this is the perfect time. I can bring a new age just for Reploids. This is my dream. I've been waiting for this. I won't let anybody get in the way. X, I'll give you a special treat since you proved your worth and ability by defeating my eight, my investigators. I'll invite you to my laboratory. <laughs> no more hiding. I'm sure you'll come even if you know you'll die. I'm waiting for you at my lab. Blah, 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 Anyhow, this scene uh, happens if you're zero and you kill the last Maverick and or High Max and or get 3,000 Nightmare Souls. Do you still hold grudges? Don't you realize what's going on? In the worst case scenario, you might die as well. I know. I think it's a golden opportunity. Thanks to the Space Colony incident, a lot of low Reploids were lost. Now I can easily control the Reploids remaining. It's the ideal time to build my world. I won't let anybody interfere. Finally, I can realize my dream. I will build the strongest nation. Your ridiculous obsession is a waste of our time. An ideal world made from a virus? It won't last with a corrupt foundation. Even though you have Maverick Hunters and Reploids, and you still could not maintain peace, right? Don't accuse me when you use force, too. Stop quarreling! The Earth needs us now! Gate, I believe you should know better. I can't forget. They murdered my works instead of appreciating them. They were such excellent Reploids. Why? This Maverick Hunter can't be analyzed, and may carry great risks, but why won't you dispose of him? I'm looking forward to seeing the mysterious hero at my laboratory. Gate is behind everything! Stop his evil! And we've located his secret laboratory, so now we've unlocked the final castle in the game, and we can go take on Gate. But first, we got a lot of part collecting to do, so let's check out the alternate pathways. Uh, I believe I've already shown you multiple times Infinity Maginion's alternate pathway. It's the quickest way to get to High Max slash Nightmare Zero slash whoever. That's why I always went back to this place so much. With Zero, it's a lot easier to get the Reploid since he can double jump, and X cannot. But, uh, yeah. In Blaze Heatnik's area, when you get to the small corridor, head all the way to the top. I've equipped Zero with the part called Speedster. Speedster makes Zero walk a lot faster, but it also increases the distance he can jump forward uh, when he actually jumps. So, if you have Double Jump and the Speedster, it can really make Zero's mobility awesome. And here's Dr. Light. Now I'll give X an ARM program of the Shadow Armor. This program will enable X to fire in three directions simultaneously and use a striking charge saber. Go and defeat the evil of this world. Will do, Dr. Light. Uh, Dr. Light, I never got it in the actual LP, but um, if you get the first Dr. Light capsule with Zero, Zero actually asks him if he was the one who repaired Mega Man X, because, you know, Mega Man X 
was miraculously repaired out of nowhere at the end of Mega Man X5, and it was obviously Dr. Light. But Dr. Light doesn't answer him. He goes, I have no idea what you're talking about. At first he goes like dot dot dot, like he doesn't have an answer for him. I mean, it's the most sure sign that Dr. Light knows, or at least, you know, he, he knows it was him, and he's like, uh, uh, I didn't do it. What are you talking about? I didn't repair X. <laughs> I'm an AI program. Lol. There's our first sub-tank. It's always good to have sub-tanks to repair, to replenish your health, because you'll need them when in Gates Lab. Oh, you'll need them. Lizard Wolfang. You go to the right here, and sometimes there's a wall there. How do you get rid of it? You don't. You have to keep replaying the levels until you get it again and again and again. Behind the right wolf is a heart tank, and if you hop, hop down this hole and air dash, you'll get the X tank, which gives you four lives every time you die. And, uh, yeah. It was in X4 and X5 as well. There was a heart tank in Blaze Heatnik's alternate stage as well. Again, a Reploid was sort of hiding it. You might have missed it, but I got that heart tank as well. Again, these alternate paths are great for finding Reploids who give you awesome parts to use for Gates Lab, as well as heart tanks and sub tanks and stuff. But, uh, there's not much going else. Not much else going on in them. There is a boss that you can face, uh, right now. And I'll be saving him for later after I've so shown you all the alternate pathways, though. After you defeat Nightmare Zero, High Max is unlocked. And after you defeat High Max, then the character we fight next is also unlocked. So, yeah. Zero. I'll give you data for an armor. The one I give you now is the head program for the blade armor. It allows X to consume less energy as he uses his special weapons. I am praying for world peace and for your safety. Well, whoop de doo Dr. Light, you creepy ghost bastard. And this is the Central Museum. Um, as I said before in the Central Museum playthrough, uh, every area you go to, completely randomized. This room, I couldn't have gone to it my first playthrough because, I don't know, it was just random. My second playthrough, however, oh, finally, I got Dr. Light. But then I had to do four different playthroughs just to get to the alternate pathway because the level wouldn't show up. It's tedious having randomized level design because you never know what you're going to get. And sometimes, I just don't get what I want, you know? I just want to get to the alternate path. Is that so much to ask? I don't think so. Nevertheless, uh, this is the alternate pathway area room, whatchamacallit. And it's quite tedious to get here. The Nightmares are actually dropping Nightmare Souls now, but as soon as you kill all eight Mavericks, if you try and kill the same ma Nightmare over and over again, he won't uh, bring back Nightmare Souls. The boss that we're heading for next, actually, when you kill him, you get 600 Nightmare Souls. Well, not when you kill him. You can hit him with a special weakness, and then he'll drop those 200 orb special orb things. And you can get a lot out of that, but, uh, you know... I still find it tedious having to replay a level 10 million times just to fight that one guy a million times, you know? It's retarded to expect you to get the highest rank, which is 9,999 Nightmare Souls, when it takes so much fucking grinding to get that far. I think I'll be perfectly fine getting three parts for my character, so I won't be that beefy. Either way, it's just tedious. Tedious work. I hate these alternate pathways. Why couldn't the Reploids just be there and then that's it? But I digress. I will see you in part 11.